Oh, you know what? We're actually losing this. I don't know why I thought we were winning that for some reason. All right, let's back out. Yeah, we're definitely not winning that. Okay, well, let's leave. <laughs> Hopefully it was not our troops that mostly died, although I suspect it, it was probably a big chunk of ours. Okay, failed siege. It's really hard to win sieges when you don't have the right troops. Uh, you should not be in here, right? Who else? Yeah, there we go. It's just our guys. Oh, now they all come out. Okay, well, now we can probably take them out if we get a little HP. Let's let's heal up as fast as we can. All right, we can do it again. Maybe we can pick off some small groups. That's what that's what really got us there is they had so many noble troops in there, or noble parties, and they had really high-end troops. So, yeah, that's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna happen this time. If we had archers, I think we would have been in much better shape. We could have opened up the main gates, and then we could have attacked on three fronts. And they they probably would have had a hard time holding, but as it stood, that was a tough battle. And we do need a little bit of food. Let's just buy what we can. Yeah, we got way too much armor. I made almost 100k on that. That's not bad. Let's heal up our troops. We'll see what the damage is after everything's all said and done. Yeah, we, we took a bit of a beating there. Our Oathsworn's down to 57. Veteran Falksman down to 22. We lost a lot of troops there. Man, that was, that was a little painful. But on the bright side, we still have our Caravan Master. Yeah, I think we'll just keep taking these volunteers and seeing what if we can build them up. Hopefully they're still running around. Now they're, they're stuck in that town. They're like glued to it. They don't want to leave. I don't know why. It's really bizarre. Eight years old. Well, hey, you, you may actually reach adulthood at this pace. This is taking a long time. <laughs> yeah, this is really bizarre. I, I've never seen that before. Wow, that's a lot of guys. I don't know if we... I don't know if we actually win this if we fight this. That's a lot of guys. It's a it's deceptively large amount of of parties uh we can we can take these guys since they're all slowed yeah look at that only four parties here and there's still a pretty good chunk of our uh, balance of power uh, what are you doing in here man all right they've got 44 archers not a ton but we do have unshielded troops so we don't really want to deal with that let's get in range and then we'll start throwing javelins oh can we pick off so you can pick off that noble. Oh, I think I might have been aiming too high. Yeah, man, this thing throws like a uh, like a crossbow. Keep taking out their their ranged troops. All right, they are starting to pick our guys off a little bit. Let's let's go in. I can't tell who is who. All right, we're slicing into their their heavy guys here. That's a pretty big, that's a pretty big hit for them. Yeah, not bad. 39 losses. That's not that bad. Wow, the volunteers coming up big. 32 kills. Oh no, 32 upgrades. 15 kills. That's still not bad. That might uh, might be putting us pretty close to the, the 5k mark on the influence. Yeah, 47. Oh, we got more caravan masters. We're just going to be piling these guys up. <laughs> we got four. That's hilarious. No shield, but you know they, they do fight pretty well. Alright, let's take all the prisoners. Let's do some good upgrades here. Now let's take a look. We are starting to run low on Falks and veteran Falks. I'd like to keep that maybe at 50 to 75 and we're we're pretty significantly below that. So let's send a few of these guys the Woodrunner route. Let's maybe do 10 and then the rest can go that way. And then again, we stop right there. And then let's keep 
upgrading the, the Fians. Our little personal bodyguards. Pretty good upgrades here. Uh, I think we can actually upgrade some arrows, although we're not using them, so that doesn't matter. Never mind, never mind. All right, let's go sell prisoners. I don't want to be slowed down by these guys. Yeah, I think it, if we can get Marinoth, we can take that over. I th think after that, we'll, we'll pull the trigger. All right, is there anything worth keeping here? It looks like most everything is non batanian so let's just make sure. But we do want to keep that guy. And why not? We'll keep the volunteers. I mean, we're going to be recruiting them anyways. Now, without a shield, one-handed damage doesn't really help. <clears throat> Two hit points doesn't really make a difference, but I guess it's better than nothing. And again, same thing. More athletics. It's starting to catch up. She's starting to catch up finally. Now, our parties do need a few troops. Yeah, they're they're running a little bit low. All right, let's see. Hopefully, they come back. Are you coming back here to Marinoth? I will help you. I will actually help you take that. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, no, you only got 170. That's not going to do anything. All right, here's another group of random dudes. I guess we just take them off little by little because there's so many of them. It's going to be hard to fight them because there's like 15 to 20 of them. So if we take chunks, little chunks at a time, I think that's that's the way to go. Ooh, interesting map. How many archers? 37 archers. That's not bad. Okay, got my shield up. We got a pretty good, pretty good angle up here. Let's just charge them in. We'll focus on taking out some of the cav, I think. Oh, cons guard. That is, that's a big hit. All right, I am just missing everything right now. What's going on? Another 43 influence, only 43 lost. Again, this is much more preferable to taking them all at once. Plenty of troops here. We'll, we'll probably go drop these guys off because we're not using them. That's another chunk, but we still have quite a bit to go. So I think let's go. Yeah, we'll leave them in there. That's fine. But the garrison, that's what we need to switch over here. Actually, let's heal up real quick. We, we took a pretty nasty hit from that cav. And this guy's not really doing anything here. I don't know what's... What's his plan? <laughs> Cheeky little shot. Oh, all right. This person's not going to go down easily. We got to lead him a lot, even more than that. Wow. All right, hit a tree, hit a tree, hit a tree, hit a tree, man. She hit a tree. <laughs> That's all we needed, just a little tree. Didn't lose much. Not even really worth looking at. And we'll let everybody go. Actually, let's put the prisoners back. Okay, those are all the Titania ones. Uh, let's get rid of the volunteers and the low tier ones. We want to get some high tier ones here, hopefully. Yeah, that's good. We'll sell most of those anyways. Uh, we probably could recruit to the ones that were in here, actually. What, what do we have? Was it the volunteers? Yeah, we had a few in there. Okay, they're, they're dropping some really good loot. Yeah, that is way better sword. Much, much better. All right, they, this guy's going to get... Oh, no, they're going to... They're going to dogpile that, so that's fine. 
There are just so many of these little parties. What is going on? Do they not have influence to call an army? They just got to stay as like little solo parties. I don't know what's going on here. This is really bizarre. Hey, hey, hey. I recognize that. That flag is not allowed. We copyrighted this thing, man. I don't know how much more we're going to have to wait around. We may have to just go in. They've only got 500 defenders now. So if we can just double our party size, we'll be just fine. 150. Let's go. Let's just let's just take this guy. Okay, good. They're they're coming out. Let's try and trap them so they don't they can't come back in. So only 400 now. And the walls are one of them is down still. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just keep doing the same thing. And this time we are gonna do. Let's see. We are gonna do a battering ram this time. So we can have three different angles we can go in at. I think that's gonna be important. And we should probably upgrade. Let's do that right before we go in though. Let's let's do the upgrade at the end. All right, we'll make very quick work of this. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. We got we got a ram ready. Oh, Gersegos, our old castle, but they're not going to get back to us. Oh, of course not. Okay, this should be pretty easy. 1,300 troops. They've got no walls. They've got no siege engines. Oh, what in the hell is going on here? Why did we spawn inside of their base? What in the hell is that? <laughs> All right, let's get into some cover here. I have never seen that bug before. Oh, and that guy flew the wrong way. That's funny. <laughs> All right, if we can, let's see if we can get in this this tower. All right, we just barely made it. <laughs> Lifted him off his feet. All right, there's probably, yep, there's, as I say, there's at least one archer up here that I know of. I don't know if they're coming up. I don't think so. They might send one archer at a time. All right, let's try and do some sniping here. Yeah, there you go. These guys are pretty heavily armored, so let's take out some of the high tier. That's going to make the site crash pretty easily. I guess. Oh, this guy? Are you shooting at? No, he's not shooting at us. Alright, we are taking some pretty heavy damage. Let's just get real tight angles here. Oh, they're shoot these guys are targeting us. Oh, I'd love to hit that shot. I think it's pretty good drop off though. Yeah, there we go. All right, that guy needs to go now. Well, we contributed pretty heavily on this one. Oh, that'd be a fun shot. Can we can we arc it down in there? Oh, it's okay. We traded. <laughs> we traded. All right, we didn't lose too much actually. A lot of injuries. That's fine. Beautiful. Now, now I think we can pretty comfortably do what we're hoping to do. Yeah, we're well above 5k. Oh, they have a lot of troops. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of influence from donating here. Unfortunately, we do have to pillage, but um, only workshops. That's fine. Workshops are kind of pointless. All right, let's donate troops. Get that out of the way first. Let's just make sure there's nothing here that we want to keep. Yeah, we have to donate more than we have anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, upgrades. Let's handle the upgrades first, and that'll give us a good idea what we want to get rid of here. All right, that's what we want. Yeah, and we have way too many prisoners as well, which is fine. Because we're going to sell them anyways. Nice. 20k. And we should get a pretty good chunk from this as well. 
Oh, it's way more than they have. Yeah, let's let's back that off a bit. Keep the change. All right, let's wait here. We can heal up and see what happens to the vote. Let's hope it goes to us. I highly doubt it, but we might. We do get the bonus on the votes for having matching culture, so that, that could help. We were part of the siege, all that stuff. We're not even on the freaking ballot. That's fine. We'll get it. We'll get it back. <laughs> One way or another, we're getting this town back. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, so that's that's everything. If we if we pull this off and we can sue for peace, we will have reunited all Batanian lands and we have a little extra left over. So, okay, this is a big one. So 225 one-handed, we're going to obviously boost up our troops. This is plus 10 hit points to all the infantry that we lead. That is a huge one. Probably should have pushed for that one sooner, to be honest, but that's fine. Uh, none of these are really enticing. We'll take the wall damage. We will possibly be busting down more walls, although this might actually be close to the end. Let's see. Let's see if we can pull it off. We have a lot of people in our army still. We could go get them killed. <laughs> Just so that uh, when we kick everybody out, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's go have some fun. Let's go deliver these guys. Oh, Gersegos. Actually, what we'll do is we'll use these to defend without using our own troops. Yeah, so there might not be enough there, but we'll see. So what we'll do... Okay, Asteroid declared war again. No big deal. So let's start kicking people out and see what they do. They're probably going to go in. Yep, they're going to go in. So let's let everybody go in. Everybody go in. Do you have enough to win? Probably not, but let's see. Either way, it's going to be funny. Oh no, they're going to win. They're going to win. Wow. Well, they did better than I thought. Okay, so let's think about how we want to do this. Yeah, it'd be nice to take these back before we boot everybody out, but it's really not that big of a deal. We're going to have pretty much half the map at this point, so I don't think it makes that big of a difference. Let's let's head back up here. Yeah, let's go to Sianon. And yeah, this one's just about maxed out. Get the training fields done. Okay, let's put a game plan together here. Now, policies, there's a bunch of them that they really don't want to get rid of, and it's going to cost us 100. What are we working with here? So 2,000 on Durthurt, 1,700 on the on the next biggest, and then everything else is, is below 1,000. So this is not that concerning. This one is a little bit concerning, but we can make sure they're the first ones to go. Yeah, they own Dunglanus as well. We want to make sure we get that, so... Let's see, 5,600 influence in the bank. That's more than enough, I think. I hope. <laughs> so we got two wars going on, and I know how much they hate declaring peace. So war is 200, peace is only 100. Let's see what a peace vote does. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a lot. Yeah, I think we found, we found a good way to drain. It drains faster than what we're spending, so we'll abstain. And peace again. Nope, they're going to spend a ton of influence. <laughs> oh, it's like taking candy from a baby. Let's do this a couple times and then we'll check uh, with the clan, the clan page and see how many people are spending. Now they're starting to slow down a little bit. So I think they're running low, actually, after only three votes. I'm not seeing as many 150s up there. Let's do it again. Yeah, they're still spending a decent amount and it's only costing us very, very little. Every four days we can afford to call one of those votes. All right, they're still going strong. Yeah, they're starting to get down into the 10 and 20 range. So that means they're they're probably running low. Let's go let's go check and see what the clan page looks like. All right, clan page. Influence 1500 on on Durthurt. This guy's down to 1200. Everybody else is I remember we had like 7 600s several of the clans. Now they're down to 200. Yeah, this is going to be actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. We we probably could have done this significantly earlier. Let's go ahead and disband Okay, we can't disband our own. They're probably in a battle. Let's go ahead and disband this one then. And another 1,200 army. Ooh, and that's that's the one that has... Do they have a lot of influence? Yeah, they do. So now they're down to... They're less than uh, 1,000 now. That army they just summoned was huge. And we'll disband it again. And most of those people already hate us anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. Okay, getting a little bit weaker there on the army size. Let's go ahead and do another war vote or peace vote. To see what that looks like. Ergeon. So that's they're spending a hundred. That's the Batanian one that has nine hundred. So now they're down to eight. Yeah, we can we can drain these guys down like this. I think this will be this will be the way to go. And we don't want to go to peace. We obviously want to stay at war. So if we need to, we'll just vote no on our own policy or our own peace de declaration. 
I don't know how much that guy's got left because he's that's like five or six in a row now. Yep, there he goes. He's down to 42, so he's not uh, using as much. Scraping the bottom now. All right, let's check. Oh, man, look at that. Okay, never mind. I thought that was I thought that was the same one. I mean, he's still low. He's at 900. Now he's at 300 in the matter of, you know, five or six votes. Okay, Demerok, the first time he has to oppose one of our votes, all that influence is going away. It's going to be like 1,200 influence for him to do that. So I'm not really concerned at all about that. And he's still stuck with his original fiefs. So when we boot all of his, his people, we're going to get literally everything in the kingdom except for these three. So that is going to be glorious. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. There he is. There's Durthert. Big Daddy's uh, clan is, is doing a big army. So that's probably, that's a big chunk of their, their influence. Let's disband it. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just keep disbanding these guys. It's the small guys now. All right. I think it's, it's probably safe to start doing it. 300 only that's going to go away after like two votes so i think i think we just got to bite the bullet let's get rid of the 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 higher influence first because what that's going to do is we won't have to spend money fighting this guy if we can if we can boot him out oh yeah look at that they're fighting hard okay so that's that's going to be a big no but it's going to be hard for them to vote that many times Durthert spent 150 on that so a couple more votes and they're pretty much out it's getting closer 26 percent this time 38. <laughs> All right, no, almost nobody's voting on it now, so probably don't want to go too much lower than maybe like 2,500. So if if it gets to that point, uh, it's not going to get to that point. We're going to kick them out. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone. We just got to make sure we can get everybody out. All right, 50% go to us, and we're still above 3K. This is this is it. That's it. You can't do anything about it. Durthert is hosed. All right, we're starting to get kind of dangerously low on influence here. And we still have five more to go. So we're going to be at less than a thousand. Mm, yeah, I think we needed to save up a little more. Well, we'll see. If anything, we can just make sure he takes all the castles. We don't have to outvote him on the castles too much. Okay, here we go. Now we only need to spend 14. He's, he's pretty much out of influence. So we'll be stuck with about 800 for the final votes. One problem that could come up is we don't have a lot of influence left, and if, if we have to keep voting people out, that's going to be a problem for us. If, if he just starts recruiting people like crazy. Alright, Jacqueline is going to us for sure. Yeah, that's ours. Alright, 50%. I don't know if 50% goes to us. No, it goes to him. I don't really care about the castles quite as much, so I would like to conserve... Yeah, Proven, we want to make sure this goes to us. So we'll spend a little more on that. I don't want him to have anything, though, to be honest. How, how many do we have to vote on still? That's what I would like to know so I can calculate how many 42s we have to spend. You know, we're just going to do it. Let's just, let's just make sure he doesn't have much. We want everything. All right, let's take a look. There's still a lot left. There's still 21 left. And let's see, 21 at 42 per influenced is 882, so we can't afford to take all of them. Although he may run out of influence first. He's only got 139 left. So let's let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to stop voting on the castles and just make sure that we can at least take the big towns. I should have saved up more, man. This is painful. Just another like 500 and we would have taken everything. But that's the thing. You just don't know how much it's going to cost. You just don't know. Yeah, we'll abstain. You can have a couple castles. But these castles are out in the boondocks. There's no way he's defending those as soon as uh, Sturgia declares war. So, oh, Gersegos, that's ours. We're taking that back. That was ours. It will remain ours. And he's got 115 influence, so he still has some influence. I don't know where he's getting all this influence from. Oh, uh, crap. Yeah, he's starting to get uh, clans back in. Just one. We got to keep an eye on that, though. If it's more than one, then that's going to be a problem because we may not even show up on the vote. All right, let's take a look. Still only that one, so that's fine. Of Castle, that's going to get lost. So we'll just let that go. All right, still only the one clan. Ormond Fard, you guys can have that. That is a dumpy castle. 
All right, any day now he's going to run out of influence. Let's see what he's at now. 65, yeah, he's almost done. Okay, say so Usank. Don't really care. Again, Turby Castle in the north, don't really care. So I think we're just going to keep abstaining. He's getting a lot of castles out of this, man. That's that's unfortunate. He's only 25 influence, though. So one or two more and he's, he's pretty much out. Yeah, he's out. So 14 influence, we take everything else. So he's, he's done until we get a daily tick. Once the daily tick happens, he'll get another little shot of influence. And we still got to make sure he's not recruiting people. Otherwise, we're going to have to share with him. So let's keep doing this. All right, Aster Castle, we definitely want. That's Batanian lands. We have to take that back. Revolt. All right, he wants that bad, but you can't have it. It's mine. Okay, Gersegos is being sieged. That's probably by the Western Empire. We could go deal with it. Here's the big daddy. And for once, you're not the big daddy. It's it's Maranath, and it's ours. Let's go take a look at what we're getting sieged down by. See if it's even worth bothering with. Ostakin, yeah, we're getting some good ones now. Dunglinus, this is the other big one. This is the mistake. But it only costs us 14 influence to fix it, so not bad. Charas, yes, we will take another town. Now, one thing we do have to be careful of is... Let's go check and see how these things are doing on influence or loyalty. So that's a minus four, that's pretty bad. Minus two is not too bad. Minus four is bad. Minus four, minus three. They should be okay, actually. I do get a little bit concerned about losing them to rebellions. That would that would not be fun. So we have enough troops to fight these guys off. There's only 90 defenders, so they won't last too long. We'll let them lose a few troops at least. All right, more votes. Yeah, Ox Hall. Oh, crap, dude. Yeah, he did it. Well, we're going to vote it for somebody else, and then we'll kick that person. We'll have to kick him out, and then we'll take it back from him again. All right, Durthurt, how many fiefs do you have now? Still has a lot. Sargo... No, that's that's actually his original. Sargo and Galend. And then I think the rest of these castles he already had. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and boot this guy. And then we'll vote on that one again. Because we want to get Ox Hall. That's a big one. All right, they're starting the battle. And I think we're just going to auto-resolve this. That's fine. I don't really feel like fighting it. We got too many important things going on here. Get out of here, kid. Not too bad. We still got max troops. We had a, a few prisoners just sitting idly, so... Ready to go. Uh, no, we're not going to give you zero to free somebody. There we go. That's... Oh, he hired somebody else, man. Come on. All right, well. We'll abstain. We'll kick him out. We can only kick one more. We only have enough influence for one more of those. So, Although we're getting a ton of influence now. 42 per day. One, two, three. We need to kick two people out. So let's kick out one of these other guys. We got to save up a day or two's worth of influence, and then we got to do it again. Yeah, it's getting a little sketchy now. We're, we're kind of... We almost need to go to battle so we can gain more influence faster. We're getting sieged down again. That's annoying. Let's go... All right, 79 defenders still. All right, we have 203. Let's save up one more day. All right, good. He didn't hire anybody else. So if we kick him, then it's one, two, three. That's fine. So we should be able to do this. We might need to wait one more day though, because we might need to put a little bit of influence on that vote. So let's just let's just be sure. Uh, we'll fight with you on that. That's fine. It'll probably cost us less troops if we do that. All right, we got a really good helmet there. Yeah, all our guys. Everybody's got really good helmets. Yeah, that's a pretty big upgrade here. Okay, so 290. I think we can do it now. I think we'll we'll safely do it. Yeah, we don't even have to spend influence on that. We'll just spend everything on this Ox Hall vote. Hopefully he doesn't recruit somebody between now and then. That would be really annoying, but... All right, there we go. There we go. And it's going to us. Come to Papa. The real Papa, not not Big Daddy Durthurt. All right, what else we got? So we're pretty much out of influence at this point. We own almost everything here. There's a few castles that didn't go to us, which is fine. We united all of the Batanian lands. All we have to do is sue for peace. Let's go find ourselves uh, Veron Castle. Okay, I guess we're defending again real quick. And Gersegos again. Jeez Louise. All right, we got to find somebody quickly. Yeah, we're not defending that anytime soon. Here we go, Thulmond. Oh, uh, you're too fast for us. Are you kidding me? All right, boot everybody out so we can leave the kingdom. All right, we caught you finally. Let's do this. 
We're going to leave. We're going to keep all our holdings. We're going to immediately sue for peace. Oh, they don't... <laughs> they want it for free. That's funny. And we were not we were only at war with Batania before that. And we just we killed them off. So they're no longer a threat. Uh, we do need to go back and fix all of these so that they don't go into rebellions. Although I think they're probably okay for now. Let's take a look. So Jacqueline. Yeah, that's going to be pretty close. That one's not a big deal. That one should be okay. Ostakin, I think, is okay. Yeah, these are okay. Ooh, Ox Hall is not good. That'll have to be our first stop. And what kind of money are we looking at? We're looking at 64000 in income. And if we get rid of all of our garrisons, we'll be making that free and clear. Uh, obviously, we'll, we'll keep some of the garrison, but let's go to Ox Hall. Oh, we have too many troops. What happened? Oh, because we left. Yeah, we don't have that policy anymore. There was a policy that was giving us 40 troops, but well, we can fix that. All right, problem solved. Ah, it looks beautiful. Nice and green. <laughs> green and gold. Ah, we're making so much money now, it's ridiculous. Ospir. Oh, well, I guess they got mad at us. <laughs> De Gunrik. What happened? Is that a rebellion somewhere? That's uh De that's one of the Vlandians. I wonder why they declared war on us. Do we own your town or something? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Anyways, let's manage the town so we don't lose it. it. Looks like we will if we keep it up at this base. Yeah, the fairground needs to be needs to be built. So we can probably just stay here and do that. Oh, they declared peace. Did they die? Is that why? They they probably died. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so I, I think that's gonna pretty much wrap up this campaign. That was that was a very interesting campaign. I, I was actually honestly expecting to just fight Caesar and then end it. And then this happened. Uh, I, I was not expecting to be able to take everything over. I, I knew it was possible. I didn't know it was going to be that easy. And I was kind of bored with the other one. So I figured we'd try this and then we did it twice. So, I mean, if we really wanted to, if we were really bored, we could easily just continue this. We could do it for who's the next biggest one. Probably the West or Asurai. We would do it for Asurai and then the West. Yeah, we could just take over the whole map. Not a big deal. I mean, we're making... Only 16 right there, but with, with a couple policies like we had on that other, when we were a vassal of, of Landia, it, it wouldn't be hard to do. Uh, let's take a, a quick rundown of what we got. So fiefs wise, we've got, we got 14 towns and 18 castles, 14 towns, 18 castles. That's a pretty healthy, <laughs> that's a pretty healthy investment. And our silversmith is doing really well, 800. So again, I told, told you earlier, once you get the prosperity up, it, it goes up significantly. So Carbansith is doing what? Carbansith is at 5,000 prosperity. It's not even that high. If we get that up to 10K, again, that'll easily break, you know, 1,000 to 1,200. Not bad. Diathma probably having some issues with supply is my guess, but that's fine. Not a big deal. We're, we're really doing well. We've got kids that are coming of age soon. Uh, another like eight years or so. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's anything else here. I mean, this is like a, a mic drop moment. I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed this campaign and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care, guys.